Hey guys, welcome back to Solo Leveling Arise. In today's video, we have the official global announcement. Now, this is what we were expecting. We were expecting it the 8th of May, but it is now officially confirmed. Put it in your diaries. The 8th of May is when the game is launching. There are a bunch of games coming out. I will do my uh, start of May video going through all the new games, but there is definitely plenty of options coming out for a lot of people, but this one I am super hyped about. Now, but there is a couple things I do have issues with in the game. I want to jump into the game, have a bit of a chat about it in its current state and stuff like that for those that haven't seen it uh, and those that are waiting for global as well so let's jump into the game but once again may 8th is going to be the official release date for solo leveling arise so let's jump into the game over here and let's take a look now i because I, I took a i took a hiatus for a couple of weeks from the game um and i've jumped back in and and i've seen other people with this complaint but I do think they are going to adjust some of it. But if we look over here in my hunters. So I was lucky in my summon session. I did get myself the silver main bake. Or Beck, however we say it. Dude, I suck at names. It's just what I do. It's my thing. I suck at them. And the problem I have at the moment is still... And this was the problem I had from when I started playing the game. Is upgrading characters is just so expensive. And not just characters, but everything in the game requires more and more gold to upgrade and you end up in this massive crunch for gold where you want to use it for everything and this is something that, that annoys me in games now before before we go too much far into the complaints this game is absolutely amazing i love the way they deliver the story the story is amazing i love the way that the characters feel and they play the fact that the game is instanced i know since genshin a lot of people are like oh if it's not open world that sucks me personally i actually like the instant space combat more than i enjoy open worlds at the moment it's just it's just cleaner to get to what you need to do without all the fluff in between the game has an auto system which the auto is only good on really easy stuff that mundane stuff and then and if you actually want to push stuff, you have to manual. So I think it's got a good balance of auto and manual. Characters are amazing. Anime is amazing. But like I said, the way they do the story in this game is just completely... It, 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 it makes the... If you've read the... Like, I've read the manhua, watched the anime. And what reading the, the manhua, watching the anime and playing the game all give you a different experience of the same story, which I absolutely love the story. So it's fantastic. But... um we can expect Char to be the first character at Global as well, which is a hype thing. But like I said, my biggest issue at the moment is gold. It's needed for everything. It's needed for upgrading your weapons. It's needed for upgrading Jinwu. It's needed for upgrading your characters. It's needed for upgrading skills if we want to go ahead and... Uh, wait, is it needed for skills? Yeah, it's needed for skills. Like, it's it's needed alongside other resources. And it's just too much of a crunch. For free to play anyway. I've seen whales that are just swimming in gold. I get it. Um, but I just think it's one of those things that I would love to see fixed before global launch. Because I also really want to build up my Emma. I also want to uh, build up my Jin Chul. And I just can't. Because I, I can't have the resources to do so. So now I'm level, level 3 dark characters. Which is complete imbalance in my account. But hey, they're the cool characters and I absolutely love them. So that's where we're at. But, um, but yeah, I, I'm... I, I, that's the one thing I really want them to fix. Besides that, I feel like the game is in a good state. It's not going to be a game that you sweat for hours in every day. It's got the Hoyo model where, you know, you're going to do your, your daily stuff and that's pretty much going to be chill. Then you're going to try and push some leaderboards, which are fun. But I just think in general, it's a fun, casual game uh, and you can play it as serious as you want and sweat as hard as you want. So let's just jump into a gate here. I want to go show you guys some, uh, some silver main action. Let's see if we can find one. There's an S rank, that's Jin Wu. Dude, are you, are you serious? Uh, well, let's just do a C rank hunter one. Let let's see how this goes. Uh, recommended element is dark, which is perfect for me. So uh, I'm just going to go with this team. I, I just, I, I really can't drop him. Um, I they get, dude, I always forget his names. Choi is just, he's too cool. I've got him at one dupe. He's a banner character. He's wicked. He's just, his play style is so cool. Now with Silvermane, I'm a bit unsure at the moment. We're going to jump in. And we'll take a look at Silvermane. Uh, he feels really cool. I've got to do more number testing and test out his raw damage to really know for sure uh, how I feel. Because he's he's one of those characters that is pure damage based. And so I haven't done enough testing to know exactly whether his damage is enough for me uh, to be happy with. But let's go here. Uh, let's just rotate through. Yeah, like, like I said, the combat in this game, along with the IP... It's just so satisfying. All right, let's let's 
Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Dude, I thought I dodged. Well, I'm a bit rusty, boys. Dude, am I? Can I not dodge anything? I'm gonna go into this, and then and then he and then he just mauls. Dude, my my dodging is so slack. There it is. But uh, let, let's do swap. But yeah, like I I think he's got like one of those selfish characters that kind of wants to stay in. But I don't know whether I want to let him stay in. Like, cause switching is just so uh, optimal. Dude, I thought I'd get around to this ult a lot quicker than that. I thought I was gonna get that that ult way quicker. Oh well, now we can do this. We can do that. Then we can do that. And then we can do it again. Dude, this guy this guy's combo, and then we get the meteor. It's just so satisfying. Then we go meteor again. Swap it up. Alright, let's get him in. Alright, let's go raw. Then we go slash into ultimate. It's just such a cool vibe of a character. But uh, once again, I, I'm not too sure because he is pure damage focused. And he's like got that HP sacrifice type play. So I'm not too sure. I, th I think what you want to do is use him until the Enrage runs out and then swap. I, ha I haven't quite uh, quite buttoned it out myself, but uh, like I said, I'm a bit rusty. I took a couple weeks off, just been getting back in. But dude, it's just such a satisfying game to play. And trust me, playing through the story is a really satisfying experience as well. Uh, so let's just, let's just go into one of these D ranks and just have another play with him. I'll, I'll actually just leave him in for the whole time so we can take a look at him. Uh, okay, okay, we've got a break. Uh, the red gate's a, a Jinwoo gate. That's all right. Let's jump over here. Dude, we still got the... I'm surprised they haven't fixed the loading screen issues. That That's something I thought would have been fixed by now. Um, but let's just jump into this one. Really don't need to call upon the Shadow Army with these, but uh, it is what it is. We'll just leave it. Dude, I love Troy. Uh, for the trash, we'll just, we'll just use this because this just makes sense. His place, the, the choice play style is just too easy. It's like, it's got easy AOE, it's got decent range. It's just, it's just so clutch. Right, let's go. Dude, these guys are coming from everywhere. Can, can I get a perfect judge, please? Like, uh, please? Please, like, I can't even get into Hands Basic. There it is. <laughs> Dude. All right, here we go. L let's enrage. Let's go. Let's go more face. And then and then I feel like we want to just stay in here. Once again, I haven't, I haven't figured him out completely. Get a second Q ability. So I think we want to do EQ, spam Basic, leave him in until another Q. And that's when he sort of runs out and then you swap him out. So I think that's probably the play. So let's just do a quick rotation with him. And we'll uh, we'll get him in, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here he comes. What, wait, wait, where is he going? Okay, let's enrage. Okay, get the dodge. So I think this is the rotation we want to do, and then we go into another queue, and then we can do an alt, and and then you can kind of leave him in for another E, but I feel like that's almost stretching it too far. And then you can do that, get to another queue. So he is one of those characters that kind of stays in more, and he's just sort of immune while he's doing it, uh, while he's in that state, which is pretty cool. So I do like it. I'm just not sure whether that's more optimal than doing anything else that we're doing. But uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. League goes no later, but dude, character's fun. Right, let's go. And there we go. No, no, bro, wasted the shadow army. No, I need to get more resources for that. But anyway, guys, that is it. That is where we're at. Like I said, I I really do enjoy this game. I think this is a really satisfying game as like a casual type experience. You can sweat in it, but it is going to be a pay to win fest. So just keep that in mind. But just as a casual game to enjoy playing through cool characters, um, and, and the story especially, I think it's fantastic. Once again, we are getting the release date on May 8th. And uh, buckle up.
It's going to be a fun one. I, like I said, we've got some games. We've got Zone Zero. We've got Wuthering Waves all on the horizon. There's a lot coming. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day. And I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.